Oh, jeez. It's been way too long since I've been in Susan Ashworth's shoes. And let me tell you, after the past six weeks, I feel, uh, you know, way more connected to her than ever before. Let's see how long it takes for her to break that. What was I doing? Stay here. Stay stay where you are, Susan. You're on the floor. God damn it. Or go upstairs. It's fine. I was probably standing on the floor where I was supposed to be standing, I guess. Alright, it's dark. Okay. Check map. What haven't we done? Oh, right. We haven't checked this guy's apartment. We went downstairs because we were trying to, uh... Okay. Tell Mitzi to open the fucking door. Why? Mitzi. Mitzi, just do it. Just do it. Now that he's gone, we can get inside? Yes. Let's do that. We can I'll do that? Eyes and you pick that lock, Mitzi. Mitzi? Okay. But no peeking. Can you not I've ask everything like it's a question? Really hurt my feelings now. There you go. Yeah, Proper yeah. inflection, Susan. Now Proper inflection. Them. Why am I closing my eyes? Why? Why am I doing that? Job done. Oh, jeez. Are these? Oh, this guy's a creep and a half, isn't he? Relax, Mrs. A. They're just Halloween masks. Oh, good. That's good. Because I swear, if I see another bloody head. What other one? Man, it's been way too long since I've played this game. So, yeah, let's take the devil's mask. Okay, well then let's take the hockey mask. Why am I wearing this dude's mask? Oh, I'm not. Oh, because I'm going to dress up like a fucking ghost, right? Yeah. Okay, well, I got the mask for the stupid ghost costume now, don't I? That one's, that's the pot. <laughs> or watch his crazy movies. Ooh. Yes, almost definitely. He plays computer games. Traffic. I hear that. I hear the traffic. Turn on the computer. Oh, right. Someone. Someone's cut the power off. If only. Jesse's PC. Hmm. So I'm supposed to connect it to a working power outlet. What? Wait. Where did I just plug that into? So, who's got windows over this side of the building? Well, Joe Davis lives right below. Joe I guess Davis. we could also check one flat below Joe's. I just hope the cable's long enough. Long enough? Let's find out, shall we? Okay. Let's go, uh... That's a really long cable for a power surge. Normally it's a power surge or a surge protector and then also an extension cord. You don't normally have a surge protector that is also a, a, a power strip, whatever. You know, whatever. Okay, I can't go in there. So let's go to the third floor, I guess. Joe Davis. Wait. Is it going to be on the first fucking floor? Are you telling me that you got a 30-foot power strip? Are you telling me that? Are you telling me that, Susan? You just found a 30-foot power strip. My suspension of disbelief is suddenly broken forever. I forget how creepy this place is. I do. I have a... Mm, three-story power strip. Why would the power still be on in a flat that's empty? 
he left he left why would there still be power in this apartment he's not here anymore or there morrison's is that who they were i'm just flying through this fucking section if i can finally figure out who the serial killer is so immensely can die for no reason because we know it's coming. We know Mincy's going to die at some point. Well, she does have the cancer. The cancer is the thing. Right. I should be able to use that computer now. He's Give back. Me five minutes, Mrs. A. Sure. Why not? I'll keep an eye on the door. He's going to come back. Nope. Taking him a long time at the hardware store, isn't it? God damn it! What did you expect? He just loves his computer games. He's playing lots of fucking Call of Duty. Let's leave before he gets back. Okay, do we have a? I guess I guess we'll go back to the ground floor. Assemble our costume, our cat lady costume. Do we need a dress? Do we have a dress? We have a mask. We have the paint. I think the dress might be down here already. Let's check. Okay, yes, there's already a dress here. Let's use... Use the mask. Or don't use the mask. Use the paint. Or don't... Oh, right. You gotta... You gotta use... The, you gotta examine the sewing dummy. Okay. So what do we need? We need... Well, basically, we need three things. A black dress. A tin of red paint. We got that. Red paint. We've got it already. We got that. Oh no, we need to mutilate the, the dress. The dress will make a great costume. Also, it should look damaged. I'll need some scissors. I've got the scissors. Calm down. I've got a mask. This mask I took from... Is he not gonna notice that he's missing one of his favorite... Decorations. We need to make some adjustments. <laughs> oh, I was kidding, but it's actually good. It's actually doing it like that. That's now a this is a dress. Well, you just want to show off your pussy, Susan. <laughs> you want to show the old man Why his don't pussy. You admit it was too small for you. <laughs> Missy with the singer. Ha ha, bloody ha. Oh. Why don't you just shut up? Oh. Whoever wore this dress probably hadn't seen it. Susan responds with You'd absolute sarcasm. Into it. Okay. This is it. Yeah, we've got we've it. Got all Everything's we it's under control. Put it on. Great. Put it on and do your stupid fat cat, cat widow thing. Yes. It's story time, Mitzi. Why are you being a creep? Why are you being a creep? A oh, why are you being a creep, Susan? Cats. He hated his neighbors, too, and his job. And when it rained, he'd curse and smash things. So this is just he your story. This is the story of your life. Weak, ugly body. You're just talking about he the guy that lives upstairs. The most, although he would never <sighs> so you're the cat I widow. Think I see where this is going. One day, out of pure hatred for the whole world and everything that lives, he captured a family of cats. He hasn't done that yet. What's his name? Brian? Brian isn't isn't that day. I mean he did hire a cat murderer. And all the birds but he didn't he didn't drown cats himself. Kittens struggled for life. But trapped in a strong canvas bag, they never had a chance. They all died that day. All but one. Halle Berry. <laughs> the mother cat, in a desperate fight to set herself free, by pure luck, clawed her way out of the bag. And Is that your little teapot? Your teacup? She lost everything your your tea day. boy. Her beautiful children and her proud husband. Wait, the, uh, her heart a cat? Crashed into pieces Cats don't marry. She watched their limp, dead bodies stolen. Cats don't get married, Susan. That doesn't happen. Running after them, she followed them for days, for as long as she could. Then, eventually, she lost sight of them. She stayed on the bank of the river for a while. The world stopped turning for her. Why is she blind? What made her blind? blind? Why is she blind, Susan? And then, one day, she slowly slid down the bank. Oh, so she just sat there until she eventually drowned. 
Anyway, so she didn't. She let the river take she, her away too, cover her mouth, her ears, her eyes. Susan. But as the water filled her lungs, Susan, what is the she point? Started slipping into why darkness. didn't she? Why didn't the cat just drown in the bag with the rest of the cats? So she, you're telling me she clawed her way out of the bag, like a dragged herself flames. to the side of the river, and then eventually Anger. just fell into the river Rage and drowned again. Even her last craving. And she, she was drowned. married. Was for revenge. Did she have a good rock on the that blood. ring? And so she returned. Reborn I mean, her, and changed. Her cat daddy better have bought a her the right fucking widow, ring, right? Veiled in black, mistress of the cats. She was born as a human her woman. Body of a young woman. Young. And her eyes of a cat. And her face white. That's the misery rotten, lady. The misery lady is the cat widow. You should have just brought her back with you from the weird world. To tell the tale. She would get her revenge on all cat killers and cat Jesus torturers. Jesus but there Christ was someone Jesus. she had to see. You're just first. making this up off the top of your someone head. Special. Someone she really hated the most. So in love with yourself, Susan. Oh, finally. As the evening scenery. came, it was strange. I figured we were just going to do our stupid flat. prank and then. As he lived alone. He usually that was going to be it. I didn't realize you were going to tell a whole fucking tale about this fucking stupid cat woman. Night, he switched them all off, feeling anxious and tired after work. Susan, why? Why are you doing to this to me? But couldn't. Why? And for once, there wasn't anyone there he could blame for it. Don't, don't, don't. Oh yeah, it is Brian. As he stared through the window, he kept thinking about how much... If we get up to his apartment, and it's this fucking apartment, it I'm gonna stab somebody. Time ago. It was gonna be you, Susan. Still there, and they were happy together. And Mincy's gonna watch. Suddenly, he heard knocking on the door. Some part of him was glad. This better be like a flash forward. And she's telling the story while they're going to her apartment, to his apartment. To actually do things. Dude loves Phoenix Railways, apparently. That is. <laughs> it is. It is his actual apartment. He almost felt disappointed. So she's spinning a tail of the tail of the away, tail. He suddenly noticed something down the hall. I don't think it would be a disemboweled cat. Let's do the giant shadow of the cat. It's like Batman. You're Batman, but you're cat cat woman. You're cat woman, but you're a widow instead. <laughs> and then Mitzi ran into his apartment and checked his computer, and it turns out that he wasn't the killer either. He stopped again. He couldn't believe his eyes. There was a cat's skull. Where did you get a cat skull, Susan? What the fuck is wrong with you? Susan, <laughs> you're killing cats and putting their skulls on the bike. He had a passion for trains. Although he hated being a train driver, he had always enjoyed watching them move. Oh my god. But now, his train model was moving all on its own. All on its own, meaning somebody flips the one switch and then it turned on. And yet, there it was. Oh, there's a remote control for a model train. Remote control Don't. missing. Something was seriously wrong. Uh, and that something had entered his home now, too. Yes, yeah, Susan. Breaking and entering. You've done it five times now. Six, he hoped he was just seven, seven times. Tired as he was. You're but going to jail, Susan. Surprise, waiting and then they're going to find the bodies. You're going to go to jail for longer. Cat Widow is here. Was written all over the wall. Susan, vandalism too, Susan? Oh my god. Well, I'm glad that we're not going to have to do this twice. Getting really scared now. He decided to call Susan, you're putting me to sleep, Susan. 
Why are you doing this? His phone was of no use. The SIM card had been removed. SIM. And that wasn't even the worst. This is such a modern a tale. Photo of a black cat. You didn't let me pick this one, Susan. He remembered this cat. I was supposed to get another choice. Strange pest control man put it in a cage and into his. Wait, mouth. I thought it was. I thought it was the he cats he drowned in the this river. All was, you're missing your tails, Susan. And went to bed. As in a dream. I guess I picked the, the wrong choice. Drink. They were like, you can't call the cops. If he calls the cops, this whole game is over. <laughs> oh, water. I thought it meant like there some no liquor water. or something. He knew there were Speaking of liquor, that'd be. That I wish. I wish there's fucking. No one's been down there for years. Years! He felt sick. None of this made any sense. Susan. And yet, deep down, he knew what he did to the cats was wrong. There was a part of him that almost wanted to be punished. The part he tried so hard to hide. I don't think, I don't think this is true. I think you're terrorizing an old, crusty old man just because he's unpleasant. You're gonna kill him. He's gonna have a heart attack and die. His head was spinning. He felt ambushed, trapped, like an animal. He had to get out of mm -hmm. there. He stopped, paralyzed. I still can't get over right that three-story fucking power strip. A More like a... <sighs> yep, you're Halle Berry now. She was there. In the dark corner of his Is Mitzi room. done in the fucking computer Waiting. yet? Black veil covering that pale, dead face. And yet, he could almost feel Cat Widow's eyes piercing through him. She definitely can't murder <laughs> for no reason. Where would she get a shotgun anyway? This is he going to... She came closer, like a ghost and swiftly removed the veil. Let's see how swift this is. Not very swift at all. She came back for him, to take him to the river, to make him pay for what he'd done. That's not a mask. As he looked into her eyes, he could feel the world spinning around him. His knees go weak. His pants suddenly wet around his crotch. Hey, as much as Susan? he life, he didn't Susan? want to die either. Hey, Susan. Inside, you're mixing your tits. Just a big, you're a bad storyteller. You're a bad storyteller, Susan. Painted. You're mixing your tenses. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Did you see his face? I knew he'd fall for this. Yeah, we scared the living shit out of him. Now that language. Different. Are you sure he won't know it was you though? Oh, he probably will. Once he's had time to think about what happened. But he's too proud to ever admit he's been beaten. How do you know this? Woman. I know he's just, just about you're one of those people on the internet that Let's just so. automatically assumes everybody's a misogynist. No. That was something I had to do for myself. I understand, Susan. And Are we done now? Much better for it. Was he the killer? Mitzi. The only problem now is yeah. that we still haven't found Eye of Adam. So it's none of them. Because Nobody's the Eye of Adam. Brian. I've searched those he had a computer, problems. though. All I found was a load of ah, I bet. Let's what kind of porn does he like? I need it for research. Susan was the Eye of Adam. The whole time. <laughs> That means we've checked everyone. We've hit a brick wall. Perhaps I was wrong. Maybe You're a shitty hacker, Mitzi. Mitzi's the worst hacker. Maybe somebody some had a laptop that was hidden. Home? Just a second laptop. I Did you ever think of that? That somebody might have two laptops and they only use one of them for their crazy suicide cult? Really an and then the, the one yeah. right in the front just for creepy no nosy bodies like you? What's that? A note. a note? Who is it? Which what one is it? Say, it? Mrs. A? Eviction. 
You will not believe Was it. Was it Brian? Meet me at midnight, both of you. I will wait. How contrived. Flat five. Door will be open. Flat five. Do not fear. Which one is that? One, two, Eye of three, Adam. four. That's four. So five is Joe Davis. Oh, oh wait. That's the old guy. Can't be. It can't be him. I guess oh, the we'll very old out. man? At midnight. No, it's not the old man. We've got a few hours until Listen, then. Listen, it's not the old man. Let's get some coffee. It's the old man's son. The old man's just so senile that he can't remember that his son lives with him. You realize that this guy is probably dangerous, right?